Guess what? What? <laughs> We're live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, friends and family. Hello. Uh, we just wanted to check in with you guys. Just bring a little encouragement to you. See how you're doing. Um, we're still asking if you have prayer requests, send them in to us. We'll be yes. praying for you. We're still praying for everyone. Um, we hope you're faring well um, as we're closing out this week and getting ready to um, go into our weekend. Um, you know, we're dealing with a lot of changes. Things are happening every single day. A lot. Um, we, you know, it's, it's a challenge. We just pray that we're all just... Um, you know, rising to those challenges and that we are um, working well together. Families, we encourage you um, to put on that team mentality. Uh, dads, those of you that love sports, you know, just think about that. You are a coach for your family and, yeah. and just break up things as, as teams, you know, um, you know, whether it's dealing with the challenges of schooling your kids at home or, um, you know, keeping the house in some kind of chaotic order in you know in the midst of this we understand that we get it um you know just those kind of things just just we just encourage team building and and working together as a team and and just kind of um just coaching each other grace we're praying much grace much, much um grace. over our families ourselves you know as we're uh, in confinement with each other you know we know things happen attitudes happen um you know, we just pray that, that we're walking graciously with each other and, and showing love and kindness in the midst of it. Um, you know, never mind the fact that I just had to yell at a kid to get out of the room because we had to make a video. But, you know, things, you know, it's just it's part of life. So, a um, couple, couple things for you guys. Um, devotions with your kids. There's a really, really um, great app our website called truthforkids.com. That's for good. Uh, we've used it before. Um, super simple. They follow the Bible over the course of the year. Short passages of scriptures. You can have your kids read those out loud. They give a short devotion for that and a prayer point. Um, we encourage you to use things like that. Use resources that are online. I know there's a lot of stuff coming at you every day, you know, whether it's the news or, or Facebook or, um, you know, just a lot of things coming at you so we just just pray into those moments with your kids and take time away from the media take time away from yes. um the screens you know give your your minds a rest in the midst of this and um we came across a really really awesome um song that carrie job and her husband uh cody uh i can't think of his last name anyway they don't share a last name or whatever. They're new cool kids or something, but whatever. Um, anyway, they came out with a song a couple weeks ago that was actually just officially released last night. It's called The Blessing, and it's based on the priestly blessing that we find in Numbers that God commanded um, Aaron and Moses to pray over the priest. And so we want to share that scripture with you. We encourage you to YouTube that video. And we're going to set a challenge for you. So this weekend, sometime, find a moment with your families. Set them down. Look up the video on YouTube, The Blessing by Carrie Job, And listen to that. Just soak in that music um, as they are singing and ministering to you from the Word of God. And then start praying and declaring over your family the favor and blessing of God. That is the whole purpose of that. That We ended up uh, watching a video last night, uh, and it turned up to be probably, what, an hour of worship? Yeah, um, yeah, just, just spontaneous worship spontaneous with our kids. Spontaneous worship, different songs, yeah. some of our favorites, um, and just spent time seeking the Lord. And I'll tell you what, the stress of everyday life and the media, um, all that just was washed away instantly. And I uh, just encourage you to just just worship and spend time with the Lord and uh, get away from the media, get away from just all the negative and just spend time with Jesus. Yeah, so we're, we're going to close out. We want to speak this blessing over you and we're going to pray for you. And um, we, we just, we, we love you guys. Reach out to us. You know, if you if you have a private prayer request, we'll we'll seek the Lord on your behalf. Yes. If you have a need, reach out to us. We'll we'll try to meet it. 
the best that we can given the circumstances. Um, keep track of what's going on with the church on the app, um, the website, or the Facebook page. Pastor Tim is doing a great job in trying to um, get the technology and, and get us up going online using different platforms for that. We had an awesome prayer time together using the Zoom app on Wednesday night. Um, we encourage you to download that app um, so that you can get connected on some of those prayer meetings that he's trying to get going. And, um, you know, we're trying to do our part with the social distancing and trying to keep everyone safe. And, uh, you know, we're just asking that um, we want to stay connected with you. Yep. So um, let's just do this. There we go. All right. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That's out of Numbers uh, chapter 6 verses 24 and 25. Father, we just come to you right now, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we lift up um, the body of TLC, our families, God, we pray right now, God, supernatural wisdom and understanding for parents. God, we pray that as children have questions and parents are trying to answer those questions, God, God, we just pray that you would give them wisdom and knowledge, God, give them discernment on what to say. Father, we pray that um, our families would draw closer together, God, that you would, um, God, just unite them, unite their hearts, God, like never before. And God, we just speak favor favor and peace over our families today god we just the favor of god that would rest upon um all of us and god that you would uh provide opportunities god for us to really be the hands and feet of jesus in this time god that we'd find creative ways to meet needs for people and god that we would um if, if nothing else god that we speak uh blessing God, we speak of your peace and your joy and your love. God, we can rest in you, Father, in these moments, God. And, and even when we feel shaken, God, we can lean into you, God. And we can take on your peace, God, in these moments, God. And we just pray that over our families today. Yes. In Jesus' name. Father God, I just uh, I thank you for our families. Yes, um, I thank you for um, just your grace and your mercy. Father God, I just yes. pray for your healing touch. Uh, yes, to be Jesus. with uh, to be with our families, Father God, and to yes, to spread across America, yeah. Father God. We come against um, the enemy who's trying to steal, kill, and destroy, Father yeah. God. We pray life and more abundant life, Father. God, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for being bringing the families yes, closer Jesus. together, Father yes, God. I really feel this is a time for the church to unite, not only with families but together. Yes, Jesus. Um, to become stronger. Yes, God. Um, Father God, I just ask that you continue to move in a mighty, mighty way. Yes. Lord, we love you. We love our families. Uh, we love our church and our pastor. We lift yes. them all up to you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. Guys, all right. like I said, just spend time this week in uh, worship um, and just watch those worries just disappear. Uh, thanks for sharing this time with us. God bless you. Uh, we love you, and we miss you guys. We'll see you later. Take care.